Good evening, Lake Orion. Welcome to the third annual Lake Orion Basketball Preview Show here on ONTV. I'm your host, Anthony Termina, host of one of the co-hosts of Between Terminas, and also the, co the also the host of History Now, a new television show here on ONTV. I am here with Coach Tom Reese, Lake Orion Senior Tyler Seitz, and Lake Orion Senior Joe Turnbull. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm um, going to recap briefly on the season. We Lake Orion finished last year 11 and 10, uh, 9 and 5 in the OAA White. Um, Coach Reese, could you re recap last year? Well, last year was kind of a, a tale of two different seasons. We start out relatively weak. Um, uh, the first first half of the season, we finished strong, beating a couple of very good teams, was Bloomfield, Oak Park. Uh, we had some very nice games down the stretch. Um, uh, you know, we're fighting some injuries, and uh, you know, it ended up being a pretty, a pretty positive year because a good time. Mm -hmm. Probably should have done better record wise, but. Uh, we, we fell on a few games that uh, just didn't go our way that were very close. A couple, couple games that came down to a basket or two. Uh, it, it, that season could have easily been 13-7, been 13-8. Mm -hmm. You made mention of some of the positives on the, of the season. You beat Oxford last year. You yep. beat West Bloomfield twice. You beat Seaholm twice. You beat Oak Park. Um, any games that really stand out? Uh, the the Seaholm game at Seaholm. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd never won in that gym. That was one of the things that was killing me. Uh, I couldn't figure mm -hmm. out why I couldn't win in the gym. La I got that monkey off my back mm -hmm. last year. Uh, West Bloomfield, a very good ball team, beating them twice. Uh, Oak Park had a, a Division One player on it, another Division Two player. Beating them in our gym was, was a huge game for us. But uh, I'd say probably the Oak Park game at our place uh, mm -hmm. was a huge game for our, for our program, for our team. It gave the kids confidence that we could play against anybody. Mm -hmm. Sites, what's your take about last season? I thought we had a pretty good year last year. I mean, of course, we dropped a few games that we wouldn't have liked to drop, but mm -hmm. for the most part, I mean, it was a lot of fun playing with the guys, and I, th I thought we had a really good year. Being Oak Park, I mean, especially capping off the year with last year's Mega Bowl against Troy Athens, it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. to be a part of. Joe? Yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. It was uh, really competitive. Mm -hmm. Got to know the seniors real well, and uh, I had a lot of fun. I, I would say that for me personally, last year the the game with Troy Athens, the West Bloomfield game, Sea Home game at their place, especially uh, Oxford game, highlights of personal highlights were were my favorite games of watching everybody, watching you, watching every you know. I would say that those were my favorite highlights. Um, we want to talk about this year's team. Um, this year's team, you had. Um, what's your feeling about this year's team? This year's team, we could, uh, this could not be a very good ball team. You know, I hate to jinx myself, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, we are we are very athletic. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the JV class that came up that went 18 and two last year mm -hmm. brought with it some very very good athletes. You put that in with with Mr. Seitz here, Mr. Turnbull, mm -hmm. we have we can become a very good ball team. The question becomes, these juniors, how quick are they going to become ready to compete at the mm -hmm. varsity level? Playing at the JV level, playing at the varsity level are two completely different levels. Uh, as, as you know, Joe had a lot, a lot of minutes last year. I think he'll tell you that the jump between JV and varsity is a huge mm -hmm. jump. Speed, strength, quickness, the whole nine yards. And, 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 and Tyler will tell you the same thing. He practiced with these guys. He practiced against a couple of guys last year with Nate Markham, David Henry, very good ball players. And that jump from JV to varsity is a huge jump. So how these juniors, you know, ma make that transition mm -hmm. is going to tell how we do this year. The media this year, I'm noticing, there's articles out of my prep about teams like Oak Park and Troy Athens. Do you think they're counting Lake Orion out quite a bit? Yeah, I'm sure they are, because we graduated nine seniors last year. Mm -hmm. Usually programs who graduate nine seniors don't come back the next year and do very well. Um, but we're different from a position of we are inheriting a lot of very good ball players. So I would, I would venture to guess that we'll probably we'll, we'll end the season very strong. Sites, what's your take about this year's team? I think we have a lot of athletes. I think that we have a lot of potential to be a really good team, and I think it should be a really fun year to see some of the younger guys grow into great varsity players, and I'm looking forward to it. Joe, what's your take? Uh, I'm looking forward to being a senior, having some leadership. Um, definitely be You've been on varsity team. probably the longest out of, the, out of the, this current team. Yeah, I'm, I'm What's your feeling about having the... Um, about going through those experiences? Um, definitely learn a lot from the kids above me. Mm -hmm. um, learn how to play and 
how to play at the varsity level. And um, I think definitely think we'll be athletic this year, be able to run. So I'm looking forward to that. We got a good player coming from Melvindale, a transfer. Um, how good is this kid? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Ask me about a month and a half from now. <laughs> uh, I've heard. E everything we've seen so far, he is a tremendous athlete. Mm -hmm. I mean, to have a kid like this dropped in our lap was very fortunate. These kind of kids don't show up at your doorstep every day. Mm -hmm. He is a tremendously athletic kid, great handle. Um, how, will he, how will he mesh with the rest of the kids? Mm -hmm. How will he mesh in the program and our system, how we want to play? That's yet to be seen. Mm -hmm. But as far as his athleticism, his, his ball handling, his overall mm -hmm. his all IQ of the game, mm -hmm. he's a tremendous player. This year's senior leadership, how important is senior leadership to for this team? Um, and I'll ask both these two guys uh, as well. I'll tell you, I've, I've said all along, the team goes as seniors go. It doesn't mean necessarily playing time. Mm -hmm. It's just leadership. You lead at practice. You lead in the locker room. You, you, know, you lead off the court. You know, senior leadership is more than just leading while you're playing basketball. Mm -hmm. it's, the whole, it's leadership as a whole. And we've got this year, uh, fortunately, we've got some great character kids that are seniors. Mm -hmm. Between Joe here, Tyler, you know, we've got Pim. Yep. Um, uh, you know, we've got some, some, we've got some seniors who are character kids who, who can lead. And that's, that's a heck of an advantage. That's, that's great to see. You know, being a leader doesn't mean you've got to score 18 right. points a game. Right. It means do you hold your teammates accountable. Right. Both on and off the court. And that's, that's what we need to see. Sites, what's your take about senior leadership? Uh, I think definitely with a younger team this year, I think it's going to be very important to help guide the younger guys in the right direction, I guess you could say. And I, I do believe as much as like we hold ourselves accountable, we got to hold the other guys accountable, and I think it's going to be very important to help this team grow as good senior leadership. Joe? Um, we've had some guys who've been in the program for a while, which I think will work to our advantage. Um, it'll definitely be important, and uh, I, think, I think we're ready. All right. Any final thoughts about the team this season for right now? Uh, uh, come on, watch us. We're, we're, it's going to be, a, it's gonna be a, uh, uh, maybe a little different brand of basketball than Lakers mm -hmm. used to over the last few years. Mm -hmm. We've got kids who are just going to flat out run. I mean, it's going to be a very fast-paced, track me kind of game. And it's going to be fun basketball to watch. I mean, you're going to get your money's worth. It's, it's going to be a game where we're going to push the ball up and down the court. And it's going to be a lot of action, uh, a lot of possessions. It's going to be a fun, fun brand of basketball to watch. Fights? Like Coach said, I think it's going to be a really fun year, and I think uh, you should come out and watch. It'll be a lot of fun. Turnbull? Same. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to talk about the schedule on the third annual Lake Orion Boys Basketball Preview Show on ONTV. Orion Lighted Parade is a tradition that ushers in the holiday season here in the Orion area. Families line the streets in the village to enjoy this festive event, but it wouldn't be possible without the Holly Jolly Folly. This year's fundraiser is scheduled to take place on Friday, December 5th at Golling Buick GMC located at 1491 South Lapeer Road. Enjoy live entertainment, a silent auction, a cash bar, and a 50-50 raffle. Food will be provided by Italia Garden. Tickets are $35 per person and are available at Golling Buick GMC. For more information, call the Orion Area Parade Group at 248-802-5521 or visit orionlightedparade.org. Welcome back, Lake Orion, to the third annual Lake Orion Boys Basketball Preview Show on ONTV. Gentlemen, how are you doing? Great. Good. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about the schedule, you guys. Um, you guys open up the schedule at, um, or at home against Oxford. you got 12 home games. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are competing in the OAA White. They changed the formatting from three divisions of eight teams to four divisions of six. Mm -hmm. um, Coach Reese, what's your take about them going to four divisions of six teams? You know, it's for us. It doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, we've played that second division now for a few years. Uh, the second division, I, I, I contend all along, 
it's just as good as the first division in many respects. Uh, Oak Park's our division this year. Oak Park is going to compete with anybody in the state. Um, uh, I think we will become a very good basketball team. I think Athens will be a very good basketball team. The first and second division is pretty much, there's not much of a difference between them. More balanced. Yeah, I think what it does with the four divisions, it gives some of the smaller schools a chance to compete on a nightly basis. You've got schools in, in, in South Oakland County who have lost a lot of kids. And there's smaller schools, numbers have dried up. You give these schools a chance to compete. Uh, having these schools play some of the bigger schools really is not, a, not, a, 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 not fair to them. So I think it gives some of the lower, lower schools a, a chance to, to, to have a successful season. Uh, so I, I like the four divisions because everybody a fair shake. Understandable. Tyler, what's your take? Uh, like Coach said, I think, it, I think it's a good thing. Really divides up the divisions a little bit more, and I think, like, like you said, also I think it's uh, nice to have the top two teams, mm -hmm. top two divisions. I guess you could say there's not much of a difference, and look forward to playing teams from all the divisions. Joe, I think we'll have a competitive year um, with all the teams mixed up. I think it'll be good and competitive. Now this year's schedule, um, as I said, we have 12 home games, but we'll open up the year. We only have two home, g two games in December. Right. The Oxford game and then the um, the Adams game. And also, I know it's the last week of the season. We got three home games, including a back to back. Um, what's your take about the schedule? It is one of the more competitive. <laughs> you know, I'm schedule. glad I'm glad you asked me that question <laughs> because uh, this schedule could work out well for us from from the perspective that we have six, seven games out of our first eight or nine mm -hmm. are going to be very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I've always said, our, our goal at Lake Orion is to win our, win our division, win our district. These tough games early in the year make us a better basketball team. These kids are going to have to fight hard for these wins. And by doing that, second half of the year, it puts us in a position to compete hard. Mm -hmm. And I, I like the hard schedule. And we're playing teams the first month of the season. We're playing the Southfield, Southfield Lathrop, Clarkston, Adams, uh, Oxford's much improved. Mm -hmm. We play some very good basketball teams the first half of the year. Mm -hmm. that, does a, a that does a lot for us, getting us ready to play conference play and district play. Mm -hmm. So I, I like the tough schedule. I've always, I've always when, I when I sit down with the athletic director, Bill Reese, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about scheduling. Mm -hmm. And you know, I tell him, we can't be afraid to play anybody. If you're going to talk about being a better program and being the best program out there, you got to play the best. And this year, we are playing the best. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, having Clarkston, Southfield, Southfield, Lathrop, up three out of four games, I'm not sure that's, that's mm -hmm. you know, that's, 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 that's a tough pill to swallow. But again, when we get the back end of that, we'll be a very good basketball team. Tyler, what's your take about the uh, schedule? I agree with Coach. I think I look forward to playing some of the uh, top teams in the OAA to start the season, and I think it's going to help us down the stretch, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the talent that the other teams have and see how we match up. And it'll definitely help us down the road for sure. So, You guys open up your first game at home against Oxford. Um, you said Oxford was very much improved. Um, how excited are, is, are you guys looking forward to playing your, one of your top rivals, your, for your main rival, Oxford and Clarkson, your first two home games at home? And how important is that? No, it, 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 it's, it's high school sports. Mm -hmm. The, the fun part of high school sports are the robberies. Mm -hmm. Bring the fans in, bring the kids in, going nuts. You know that, that's what makes this fun. And playing a team like Oxford, right down the street, you know it's usually well attended. Um, Oxford this year is much improved. They're very well coached. Uh, they got some great athletes. It's not the Oxford of the past. It's a team that's going to compete hard. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think I, we match up very well. We're very similar teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, that Oxford game should be a lot of fun. And I'm glad we're playing them at home. I gotta be honest with you. I don't, I, I don't like playing there. Play them at Understandable. Home, <laughs> pl pl playing them, playing them at our home, our home gym, um, is going to be a good thing for us. And I, I'm looking forward to the game. Scythe, what about you? Are you looking forward to um, to the to the first home game of the season? Can't wait. It should be a lot of fun. I think we should probably have a pretty good student section there. And playing at home is a great atmosphere, especially against a good opponent like Oxford. So, looking forward to it. And can't wait. Joe? Yeah, I love playing against Oxford and Clarkston. It's always, it's always fun and, yeah. Kind of a repetitive question. What team are you most looking forward to playing? Um, coach, are you just taking it one game at a time? I'm taking one game. That's, 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 <laughs> yeah, I know. You're setting me up there because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. Uh, yeah. uh, we're we're going to take every game. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I mean, it's, at the end of the day, 
uh, especially the seniors. Mm -hmm. This is their last go around. Yep. So every game means a lot to them. They've got 20 more games, they're done. They're done with high school basketball. Yeah. Uh, they come along with these. Both these kids have been playing since they've been little kids. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, as far as organized sports at the high school level, this is it for them. Every game is important to these kids. And we coach it that way. And um, what teams are looking forward to playing? All of them. How's that for an answer? There you go. That's a good one. Joe, what, your, what, what games are you looking forward to? This is like coach all of them, but I mean, always Oxford, Clarkston. Probably Oak Park just because of the game we had last year. So, Tyler? Uh, like Coach said, probably all of them. I mean, you can't take one team for granted. can't look forward to the next. So just one game at a time and looking forward to playing each and every one of them. Now, one thing I noticed this year for districts, um, the district's no, not at Lake Orion. It feels weird not having a district at Lake Orion. It's at Clarkston. Um, same teams that were there last year, us, Oxford, Clarkston, Rochester, in the three Rochester schools. Um, it, seems, it looks like it's a tough, it's a challenging district. Um, what's your take about that district? Well, the, uh, we won districts three years ago mm -hmm. over at Adams. Mm -hmm. We've had districts twice in our gym and we haven't won it. Um, the home district game hasn't done us a lot of good. Right. Let's go try something else. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you, beating Clarkston in their gym for a district game would be fun. Mm -hmm. Joe? Yeah, that, that sounds pretty fun to that me. Sounds, <laughs> that, that sounds, Tyler? I agree. That sounds like a lot better thing. I mean, we haven't been successful in our own gym, so let's go somewhere else to play. Understandable. Uh, any final thoughts on the schedule, um, gentlemen? I, I like the fact that we have, what was it, 12 home 12 games? 12 home games, yes. Um, 12 home games, 8 away games, mm -hmm. I think sets up well for us. I uh, especially, in the, especially in the back half of the year where... Right. Uh, we're we're going to be playing a lot of conference games at home, mm -hmm. and I, I like that. I think only one road game in February, or until that week. You, you know, in, in, in the basketball season is a very long season. Mm -hmm. It's longer. It's longer than any other sport in high school. Yes. It becomes a tough season. It becomes a grind at times, and to have those late season games at home, I, I think is 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 great for us. It plays in our hand very well. I agree. Sites, you and Joe have anything? Uh, say I look forward to a few more Friday night home games this year. I know last year we didn't have very many, so being able to play a few more Friday night games would be a lot of fun. Definitely home games. Remembering them as a senior will be good for sure. When we return to the basketball preview show, we're going to be discussing the, the role in the community, also the concept of Mega Bowl here on the third annual Lake Orion Boys Basketball Preview Show on ONTV. I need help. We can't survive without heat and water. Oakland County Community Resource Day, November 19th. I'm homeless. How do I get health insurance? I'm getting evicted. Stay safe this winter. For help with housing, state IDs, eviction, and other critical issues, come to the Oakland County Community Resource Day. There is help. Welcome to the third annual Lake Orion Boys Basketball Preview Show here on ONTV. Gentlemen, how are you doing? Doing good. Good. Wonderful. I want to talk about the role in the community. You guys have a summer or a winter league that you guys have um, that, you, that you host in January. The guys referee, referee them. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, it's been going on for a long time. It's been going on since, you know, well before I got here. Um, community Ed has a, a, mm -hmm. a kids league on Sunday mornings. And as a varsity program, we referee and we try to run the program for them on Sunday mornings to get the kids in the community involved in playing basketball um, for three months. And it, it's great for, for my kids who have a chance to reach out, you know, make a difference in some of these little kids' lives. Uh, I, I think sometimes these guys forget, you know, how, you know, how important it is these little kids to look up to these guys. They come on Friday nights to the game, to clap and cheer for them, and to be able to talk to them and hang out with them on Sunday morning playing basketball means a lot to these kids. And I think that uh, as a program is concerned, 
a lot of dads who come and drop the kids off will say, "Hey, is that uh, you know is that uh, is that Turnbull or is that uh, you know?" That? I mean, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll, they come to games too, and it's 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 a way to have these guys connect to the little kids, connect to the community, and give back a little bit. You know, they don't the people don't realize is these these guys aren't getting paid to do this. You know, they get a little stipend, but the bottom line is they're they're giving up every Sunday morning of their time mm -hmm. to give back to the community and give back to these little kids. And it says a lot about the, the, the program. It says a lot about my players. They're either char they're character kids. Sites, what's your take? Uh, I enjoy doing the refereeing on Sundays. I mean, it's fun to give back to the league I used to play it in, and it's fun to interact with some of the little basketball players and referee their games. Your refereeing's good, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Never made a bad call. <laughs> Terrible, what's your take? Um, I have a lot of fun with it, just because I remember being one of those kids. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I love refereeing. And Your refereeing's good, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to bring up another one, Charlevoix. You guys go to your summer home, Coach Reese and Charlevoix. Um, what's that experience like for the players? It's a bonding experience. You know, I've, I've been doing this for uh, eight years now, nine years. Before I even came to Lake Orion, I did other teams that I'd coached. Um, we bring up the whole program, freshman, JV, varsity. Um, the varsity team stays at my house. Mm -hmm. The freshman JV team stay at a hotel right down the street. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea behind this is, 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 is team bonding. To get the kids mm -hmm. to bond, we each go off on Saturday mornings, do some team building stuff. Um, we, we scrimmage uh, both the uh, Shelva High School, we mm -hmm. scrimmage Petoskey High School. Right. Um, you know, we each go bowling, do a bunch of stuff as a team. Um, and it's basically building some team unity. Uh, we do some character building events. Mm -hmm. We talk to the kids about some things. Uh, on Sunday, you know, we there's a, there's a church down the street that we go to. The whole program goes to, goes to church as, 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 a, as a program. Uh, it's optional, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we do is we, we, we pick kids' names off of a giving tree. And I make the kids go into a Kmart and shop for needy kids in the community. They each, put, they each throw in five or ten bucks their own money. Kind of kind of the whole service to others kind of thing. So I, I let these kids go out, shop for, for, for needy kids, mm -hmm. throw a few bucks, and then we go back to church, drop them off. And, you know, the people in the community, every, every time we show up, on that one, that, that first weekend in December, the, the community comes alive. They love seeing us there. They love what we do for the kids in the community. Um, it, we're, we're spreading a lot of goodwill up north. Uh, but the whole goal here is a for team building, right. um, we get our scrimmages in. Mm -hmm. But it's also to, to, to make these guys understand how important it is, you know, to be, uh, you know, to be to be good to others. That's awesome. I want to be sites. I want to be brief on the, what's the concept of the Mega Bowl. <laughs> well, the Mega Bowl is something we, as a class, put together. Three years ago as freshmen, and I think at the beginning it was more of an idea just to get more fans to come out to freshman games. But as the years we w as the years went on, we kept doing it, and it's turned into a I guess you could say kind of a bigger event now. It's no, it takes place last game of the season, yep. last home game of the season. Yep. Um, I want to be brief. Um, what's your guys' expectations about the season? First, I'll talk to um, Joe. Um, I think it'll be a great year. Um, I think we'll get better as it goes on, for sure, but I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Tyler, what's your expectations about the season? Uh, my expectation is to become a better basketball player, one, become a better basketball team, and just to have fun playing with uh, some of the new teammates and old teammates and have a good senior year. Coach Reese, what's your expectation? My expectation every year is to win our conference and win our district. Uh, that's my expectation. Um, and this year, cuts were very difficult. We've got so much talent in the program right now that cuts were brutal. And because of that, I, I have high expectations. I, ex I expect to do very well this year. All right. That's awesome. Thank you, Coach Reese, for attending. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Joe. That concludes the third annual Lake Orion Boys Basketball Preview Show. Have a great night, Lake Orion. And I encourage you guys to come out and watch some great Lake Orion Boys Basketball games, home or away. Or come watch or the four home games this year on ON TV. But I encourage you guys come to come to the field house to watch some great Lake Orion Dragons basketball. Have a great night. Good night, Lake Orion.